हमने देखा कि बैटरी ऑपरेट वहीकल्स होते हैं आजकल बहुत सारे बैट टाटा है एम जी है बहुत सारे वहीकल है बैटरी ऑपरेटेड वहीकल ना सोलर वहीकल का भी क्या हमने सुना है उसके वहीकल भी बनने वाले हैं तो उस पर थोड़ा बताइए सो इफ यू सी हेयर इन चार्ज कंट्रोल अंडर लेटर स्लाइड विच इज इन चार्ज कंट्रोल वॉट इज देर देर इज नो क्लाउडी पूरा सन है मॉर्निंग से इवनिंग तक तो कितने परसेंट एनर्जी सोलर से आएगी और कितने परसेंट हमें चार्ज करनी पड़ेगी नॉट ओनली फॉर ई रिक्शा दिस इज द बेसिक डायग्राम फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ दी व्हीकल्स इट मे बी यूज फॉर दी फोर व्हीलर थ्री व्हीलर टू व्हीलर दिस इज द बेसिक डायग्राम सो हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स तो आज हमारे साथ हैं प्रोफेसर फनेन्द्र बब्बा ये पी एच डी है इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी आई आई टी दिल्ली से और पिछले बीस साल से ये रिसर्च कर रहे हैं ई मोबिलिटी पर बैटरी ऑपरेटेड व्हीकल सोलर पैन और व्हीकल इनकी बहुत बड़ी लैब है प्रेजेंट लिखी सर प्रोफेसर एन जी आर आई टी हैदराबाद और ये रिसर्च करते हैं कुछ कंसल्टेंसी भी हैं इसकी इनकी बहुत सारी तो कोर स्कैन ए सी एम बहुत सारे इक्विपमेंट हैं इनके पास एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर ही इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियर और इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग में वर्ल्ड वाइड एक टॉप ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है आई ट्रिपल ई उसके मेंबर हैं और इन्होंने एक आई ट्रिपल ई की एक बहुत पॉपुलर कॉन्फ्रेंस शुरुआत की है सी फैट और ये दो साल में एक बार ऑर्गेनाइज होती है अलग अलग इंस्टीट्यूट्स में वो उसके फाउंडर में पाए एक्चुअली तो आई वेलकम सर फॉर टू आवर पी डब्ल्यू सो नाउ आज का जो टॉपिक है uh, हमने देखा कि बैटरी ऑपरेट वहीकल्स होते हैं आजकल बहुत सारे बैट टाटा हैं एम जी है बहुत सारे वहीकल हैं बैटरी ऑपरेटेड वहीकल ना सोलर वहीकल का भी आ, हमने सुना है कि उसके वहीकल भी बनने वाले हैं तो उस पर थोड़ा बताइए आप थैंक यू स्वदेश सर सोलर पावर वहीकल इज वन ऑफ दी अपकमिंग वहीकल इन एंटायर वर्ल्ड सोलर पावर इंड सोलर पावर वहीकल वी कैन कॉल इट लाइक इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल आल्सो सो इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल इज द फ्यूचर फॉर ट्रांसपोर्टेशन नॉट ओनली इन इंडिया एंड इन ऑल दी यू एस एंड Europe and other countries. So, solar power vehicle. The term indicates the vehicle is powered by the solar energy, which is non, uh, it is it is a renewable energy source, and then it is a free free energy, right? So, wherever uh, we can place and we can utilize that energy, like uh, solar homes, everything is there, right? In the solar homes, we can power our home by using solar energy. Solar heaters are there. The same way, why don't you use the solar power to drive the vehicle? That is the concept here, and here the entire solar power, because the in the vehicle we have to place the solar panels, and then we can utilize we have to utilize that energy, right? So, the where to place the solar panels, how to extract this energy to drive the vehicle? That is very very important. So, so yeah, actually, well, when I put it, that is a car. Hai. सोलर पैनल कहाविंग Electric rickshaws. There we are placing on the rooftop of our uh, uh, tricycle, actually, or auto rickshaw. And in the cars, we can place on the rooftop as well as in the front bonnet, and then side mirrors mm -hmm. because nowadays solar panels are very flexible. Flexible panels are available right now. So now we can see this. This is a basic block diagram of the solar panel, solar powered vehicle. And then, if you observe in this. Uh, block diagram. You can see this is a solar panel, and then from the from the sun we are collecting the energy, and then it will be transferred to the battery. Then it is driving the motor. Motor is driving your vehicle. Okay, this is the way the flow will be the power. Then why this? In this, if we observe, these are the different components of your solar power the vehicle. And also, if you observe solar panels, and there is a charger here. Okay, from the conventional source of uh, conventional source, like from the power socket, we need to charge your battery. Why you need to charge the battery? Because already solar panels are there. Why you need to charge the battery? The problem here is solar panel power is not sufficient to drive 
the vehicle in a complete range. Okay, so that's the reason why we need to charge the battery using the conventional source, and then we can augment the solar power uh, for driving the vehicle. So, if you see here in the charge control under later slides, we will be showing in charge control what is there. In charge controller, what is there, we will be showing. Okay. I have a question here. जैसे हमारा वहीकल है जैसे बैटरी ऑपरेटेड वहीकल है टाटा निक्सन है मोरिस गैरेज वगैरह है तो उसमें 100 परसेंट बैटरी हम चार्ज करते हैं तो जैसे सन आ है देर इज नो क्लाउडी पूरा सन है मॉर्निंग से इवनिंग तक तो कितनी परसेंट एनर्जी सोलर से आएगी और कितनी परसेंट हमें चार्ज करनी पड़ेगी इन दिस एंटायर वहीकल सपोज इफ यू कंसिडर ए फोर्टी एट वोल्ट बैटरी ट्वेंटी एम पी आवर बैटरी ट्वेंटी एम आवर रेटिंग in that we can consider around 40 to 50 percent of the energy will be collected from the solar Achha. and then that will be utilized for the driving mm. as well as for the charging. auxiliaries auxiliaries Achha. in the sense Achha. headlamp mm -hmm. and then heaters chargers and that will be their mobile chargers mm -hmm. it can be utilized in that. Achha, achha. okay mm -hmm. so if you see in this solar uh, block diagram these are different components solar panels will be there which is collecting the power from the uh, sun and you can see here the sun will be rising from the east to the west is setting at the west right so it is continuously changing solar radiation is not constant so that's the reason why we need to have the charge controller here Achha. and then from the charge controller we will be charging the battery from battery to the motor motor to the wheel center so Achha. motor means jahan pe wheels are connected hota hai yeah motor show, controller Achha. yeah i will show you the block diagram of e rickshaw you can you can better understand how the placement of these pan, uh, panels and how the traction is there mm -hmm. so now i will be showing the e rickshaw which is widely used in our in india especially in all the metro cities we widely use this e rickshaws and in some places they are placing the panels on the rooftop Achha. so that the the power from the solar panels are used to drive your vehicle so this is your uh, e rickshaw which is you can see widely in most of the metro cities from metro to the uh, home central we will be traveling by using this e rickshaws and you can see here on the top of the roof you can place your uh, you can place your uh, solar panels and you cannot extend for uh, back or front so the if you extend uh, to the front side or back side then it is uh, it will it will create a problem to the driver also and also to the passenger so this is the space available to place your solar panels in the e-rickshaw <coughs> so then uh, what are the components are there in this e-rickshaw i'll be showing so this is your complete uh, electrical diagram electrical uh, circuit diagram of your uh, e-rickshaw not only for e-rickshaw this is the basic diagram for most of the uh, vehicles it may be used for the four wheeler three wheeler or two wheeler this is the basic diagram for the e vehicle or electric vehicle or solar powered vehicle and if you observe here this is the solar panels and there is a charger battery and you can see a main relay main relay means which is connecting to your wheels actually here from the motor to the wheels and if you see here solar panels and from the solar panel we will be collecting the power which is a DC power and then it is widely intermittent in the nature it is not constant so here in this battery in this battery and battery charger and all here we will be using a one controller called the maximum power point tracking mm -hmm. which is used to which is used to collect the power from the solar panels and the charge the battery why you have to use the maximum power point tracking because the solar power is from varying from from morning to the afternoon or to the evening it is not constant so always you try to grab the maximum power using a maximum power point tracking and then we will be we will be charging your battery and the charge will be used to drive your vehicle auxiliary devices means ac auxiliary heaters device, and other uh, ac heaters headlamps um, uh, buzzers okay. horns all yeah. these things comes under the auxiliary devices so if suppose one case if you consider the so batteries are fully charged by conventional charger and if you are going out and full sun is available mm -hmm. then what to do then we can 
we can use the power to charge your auxiliary uh, to auxiliary devices not to drive your vehicle because already the solar panels already battery is fully charged so from the fully charged battery we can drive your motor and then solar panel since the solar power is available that can be uh, that can be used to charge your auxiliary devices or uh, drive your auxiliary devices you can see here and there is a vehicle controller motor and then there is a, a mechanical connection where the gear mechanism is there to drive your wheels actually so from the motor this entire thing is our electrical components how they are interconnected red and green means it is a plus and minus symbols actually so mm -hmm. Two lines will be coming for entire thing from the motor to the this white line indicates the mechanical connection from motor there is a shaft from shaft to the differential and this differential is driving your rear wheel of your vehicle yes, similarly jo, um, jo, um, ice engine hota hai, to usme jo, is piston se hai, piston cylinder se yes. differential ke the same thing yes differential ke ke upar pura electrical system hai. so from the motor you can replace motor with ice engine ice engine yeah. And then mm -hmm. that IC engine is driving your wheels. The same way motor is driving your wheels. Mm -hmm. Without the motor, even solar power is there, it will not work. So motor is the main source for the main device to drive your vehicle. And this is the source to power your motor or all other things. Now we will see what is there in the MPPT and uh, other, other components. You can see here. The circuit diagram for the connection of the PV panels. You can see from the PV panel, this is the PV panel and this is the MPPT which, which will be used to collect the maximum power from the solar panels and then how to connect the, how to collect that power using a converter called the DC-DC converter which is used to collect the power from the maximum power the PV, uh, from the PV panels and then we will be using an algorithm to collect the power from the PV panels and that will be given to the batteries and battery will be given to the motors. connected to the motor and motor is driving your vehicle. So this is the main components of your without any one component. These three are main components of your solar powered vehicle. If, if this is not there, we cannot collect the power from the solar panels. If this is missing also, we cannot collect the power from the uh, solar panels. If this is not there, we will get the very minimal efficiency. Already solar power is having low power low power low efficiency if you don't use the mppt in the solar power vehicle we get the very low efficiency so mppt along with the dc dc converter these two are very important to get the maximum power in the maximum power from the solar panels to drive the vehicle so then what are the features why we need to use the solar power in the vehicle so Solar power, you can see in the previous slide, on the rooftop, you can place the solar panels. What is the space available? Maximum you can place two to three solar panels, which is having a capacity of 250 watt or 350 watt. But in the e-rickshaw, to drive the e-rickshaw, at least you need three kilowatt of the power. So three kilowatt solar panels, there is no space to place the three kilowatt solar panels. So whatever power is available from the solar panels, we can pump into the battery and what happens now with, with solar panels, without solar panels if we compare, the range of your vehicle will increase. Suppose if you consider one vehicle is having a range, one single charge, it can travel for 100 kilometers. Suppose without solar panels, with solar panels what happens, it can extend the range to 140 or 150. Mm -hmm. That depends upon the capacity of solar panels. Suppose if there is only one solar panel, then it may extend only 10 kilometers. And suppose if you are using three or four solar panels, then it may extend the range to the another 50 kilometers. That means the, the solar power which is used in your vehicle is mainly used to extend the range of the vehicle. It is not completely drive your vehicle actually. And then suppose if you don't use the, if you don't use to charge your battery, then the power whatever is available from the solar panel, we can use to power the auxiliary loads. Auxiliary loads in the vehicle are nothing but RN and heaters, chargers, headlights, indicators. All these are powered by the solar power. Instead of pumping the power into the main battery, we can use this solar power to power your auxiliary loads. 
इसका वेट इंक्रीज नहीं होगा क्या सपोज आप कह रहे हैं इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल है इलेक्ट्रिक वहीकल के ऊपर आपने सोलर पैनल डाल दिया इंक्रीज इन वेट Yes, it will. It will be increased. But nowadays, with lightweight panels are there, mm -hmm. and just you can you can place it on the rooftop itself. Yes. No need of uh, having big structures and like you mm -hmm. place in the home, right? On the top of your home, you will be placing a structure in the forty-five mm -hmm. degrees and placing the panels. Uh -huh. That much of structure is not required actually. Okay. Because it is already. Top is there. Just you can place it on the top of your panel by providing the supports. That's enough. मेरे भाई question है जैसे ना India में क्या होता है कि solar panel powered motor है जिस पाम पंप करने के लिए पानी वो चोरी हो जाता है और दुश्मन ही है तो तोड़ भी देते हैं उसे तो अगर आपने glass break कर दिया पूरा solar panel खराब हो जाता है yes वहीं कल में अगर accident हो गया है yes तो क्या होगा it will spoil it it will decrease the suppose the problem with the solar panel is if you have one one side of the One side of the entire panel is damaged, then mm -hmm. entire panel has to be removed. It is mm -hmm. not like uh, that only small portion will be removed, and then we can use it. It's like if one one side or one one portion of your panel is damaged due to some means, mm -hmm. then you need to replace entire panel. Okay. So it is it is adding the cost. That that is the main disadvantage of this solar powered vehicle. Initial okay. cost. Okay. Yeah. But but the advantage is. Freely available energy, right? That's free. So, you don't have to pay. <laughs> instead of hundred kilometers, we can travel for one fifty kilometers. Fifty kilometers extra, then uh, it's a lot of advantage. But initially, you need to spend on the solar panel. That is must. There is mm -hmm. no other alternative here. So, if you want to have the extended range of the vehicle, then we need to go with solar power vehicle. Okay. Okay. So, these are the main features of your solar power. One is it will extend the range, or you may. Use the solar power to powering your auxiliary loads in your vehicle. Maybe two wheeler, three wheeler, or four wheeler. Any any wheeler if you consider. Mainly use the solar power, especially most of your uh, main players like Tesla and other other companies are using mainly for the auxiliary, loads, not awesome. for the driving purpose. Yes. Okay. But e-rickshaw and all we can go with the driving purpose. So that <laughs> it will extend the reach. So then. I think you I have shown you in the yeah, components we already discussed the main it. components and uh, in the solar powered vehicle and the second component is very very important to drive uh, to collect the maximum power from the solar cells so it's called the maximum power point tracking yeah. along with the dc dc converter without this we cannot extract the power from the solar panels maximum power and it is a dc power right so to maintain the constant dc also we need to have this charge controller Along with the MPPT controller, both are required to maintain a constant DC voltage as well as to collect the maximum power from the solar panels. And batteries, anyway, it is it is required. And uh, since nowadays the motors are used is AC motors, so we need the inverter. And then auxiliary loads are already explained. Auxiliary loads are nothing but chargers and uh, headlamps, mm -hmm. heaters, and all. These are the main components in the solar. Thank you. So we thank Professor Fanendra for spending time with us today. And if there is any question, please put in the chat box. I will discuss with Professor Fanendra and reply to you. Thank, thank you, you very much. Thank Thanks. You.